Hey guys, we're back at it again. Um, something different for this week, uh, impacted canines. Sometimes a patient doesn't have enough room in their upper jaw or the lower jaw for the canine or also known as the eye tooth to come in. Um, so we have to try to find a way to get that tooth to come into the mouth. So for this patient right here, we could see that the uh, canine here is sitting slanted into the palate or the roof of the mouth of the patient. There's not enough room for it to come in. We can also see it's stuck over here. So what we do is um, we take out the tooth that's in the way. In this case, it was a baby tooth that didn't come out properly. So we remove that tooth. We opened up some space into the upper jaw to be able to bring in this canine. Now, traditionally, we put a bracket and a chain on it. Um, so just like your standard orthodontic bracket that sits on your teeth, but with it, there's a long chain hanging from it. And then we tie that to your wire that's sitting across your teeth and your orthodontist will bring it in um, in the time frame that they feel is appropriate for it to move into the mouth. But in this case, um, the orthodontist wanted us to put a special bracket that they like to use without a chain and uh, the orthodontist will attach their own wire or chain to bring the tooth in correctly. And then once the tooth comes in, it just sits in the mouth like it should have been, but we are surgically accessing the tooth and then the orthodontist is doing their part in pulling down the tooth and moving the tooth in the correct position. So that's what we have for this week for you, impacted canines. Um, we take care of them all the time. Have a great one.